Good morning, it's Carol Martin, and I am so happy that you could join me today. I'm going to vlog about my new Etsy shop. Here is the address, and I'm hoping that you will find it at the information at the bottom of this uh, video. <clears throat> I've been planning on doing this for a while, but I kind of had to have the War of the Roses with Etsy because it had changed so much since it has gone public and starting the shop was a really a character builder for me, but I persevered and figured out what they meant and what the changes were, and so here I am. I have picked a few items from my stash the items that were on the top and please believe me I have many many more that are probably a bit more interesting than these pieces but these were my learning experiences for make, putting listings on Etsy. The first one is 19 sheets from the calendars that I showed you a few months back and I have removed all of the miscellaneous bits and thought you might be able to use these and if you will remember they are done on gloss semi uh, actually glossy rather nice heavyweight cardstock so I picked these because I thought they would have great possibilities for making altered books or collaging or in your junk journals and I want to show you a little bit about what you will be expecting if you decide that you might like these items. So that was my very first entry in my new Carol Martin Art Shop on Etsy. I also included this find because you know when I mall dive I'm always looking for books that would do nicely altered or use as junk journals. Well, you know. This one is really a delight. The dust cover is in lovely condition. and You'll notice the embossed gold on the actual cover of the book. And I thought that this was so conducive to either using for collage or just turning into an altered book or for doing some junk journaling. Look at this nice open place for maybe some reverse collage on this side. More of the same. Pages in this book are a delight and oh my, wouldn't those little sweeties just look wonderful if they were embellished or even oh I would be thinking them I would be having the call of my ink tense pencils for those little babies so this is another oh my 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 if that's not absolutely adorable so this kind of a find is the reason that I do so enjoy hitting an antique mall and kind of wallowing around and passing up many things honestly but when I found this one in this condition I thought well maybe someone might be interested in having that. Then I went into my stash and I found this absolutely beautiful beautiful ribbon and as you can see the quality of it and 
Art Deco uh, uh, design. But oh, look at those luscious colors. So that is presently for someone to have and enjoy. Here is just a fun thing that made my mind click. Wouldn't this work a treat for embellishment through mixed media? This is a nice, heavy cardstock, glossy paper. All of the pages are here. It has a little normal wear and tear, but I thought, wow, wouldn't this work beautifully for whatever repurposing you might have. So there's that baby. And when I went to my stash, I grabbed, I have to be honest, for my practicing, my practice for Etsy, I grabbed some of the things that were on top. And these are some more ribbons. Very, very lovely, high quality ribbons. And some bronze gilt braid. So this would be another challenge to your artistic musings. I fed this book was with the other one, so I decided to include it. And this book is a book in journal form, and I'm a person who, the reason I really, really was drawn to this book was because I'm a sepia lover from way back, so, and I like those footies sticking up out of the carriage. And if I'm very honest, I have to say that I think I was probably in a carriage like this. Here we have a different type book because it is a book made for journaling. And it is aged, as you can see, around the perimeter of the pages. That looks like a stife teddy. Your favorite games and things. This, again, just yelled for altering, and if you'll notice, this is a tied, tied binding, which one often does not see anymore, but it is definitely tied. I can feel the holes for the signatures, so I thought that you might enjoy this with all of the possibilities that it opens up, and I have a few more things that I've been gathering and clutching to me. I found this just recently in my local very favorite place, and I thought, oh my, 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 look at some of the wonderful collage possibilities here, or just drawing practice, or even reverse collage, but were I to use this and keep this, I would probably use this for collage. Aren't these just absolutely wonderful possibilities? I couldn't resist this. That will be coming up soon. And here, oh wow, for those of you who like old map books of maps and Atlas of the World and Gazetteer from Funk and Wagnalls, 1929. Look at all of these absolutely beautiful maps of the states. And as I'm flipping through, uh, I don't know if you enjoy it, but wow, it has that old book odor and I just love it. But as I said, I guess I do qualify as uh, strange to very strange. But I thought I wouldn't.
put this out on Etsy for those of you who might particularly enjoy having a book like this. I have been working in my uh, antique uh, ledger and when I purchased the one that I'm working in, I also purchased one that was right with it. The same book, the same type of book with it's a lodge diary from let's see if we see any dates in here it should be in here oh 1898 many pages of that beautiful old writing Now that I feel these pages, I'm thinking it might be just a tad heavier than mine, but goodness, mine has been able to take everything I wanted to throw at it. And then, in the back, we have pages that have been, that are still blank, just waiting. Whoops, look what I found. Mm-mm-mm. Someone had a bill coming. Robert Williams. McGuffin Physicians and Surgeons, 1906. Physician and Surgeon. I guess if I had take was had the time, and I probably will try to give it a glance, these uh, this might be a uh, a ledger from a uh, doctor's office. This is 1913. Oh, and it's signed by a notary public. So, I am going to be uh, selling this one because, well, I know it might sound strange, but I have one and I'm enjoying it, but I fail to see really why I need to have two of them. So, this will be coming onto my Etsy shop quite soon. And my last show and tell for the day is my last purchase because I just couldn't resist. This book just shouts to be altered. There's a pierced cover a lovely silhouette, letters, the Beatrice, lemony snicket, and look what we have in here. There are, is a pocket, a large inclusion, Another pocket and an included book, the Beatrice letters. These pages have been pierced also. This is going to be difficult to give up, but I'm going to work at rising above my natural desire to clutch this to my chest. And I'm hoping that I will have the character to put this on my in my Etsy shop, because after all, that is really why I purchased this. Isn't this just, just, just something? Oh, wow goodness, I'm selling it to myself, but I would rather someone have this and enjoy it. Beatrice Baudelaire. So, here are just some of the things having to do with book 
altering and junk journaling, etc. But my stash contains many, many more different things, such as millinery flowers from the 1940s and older embellishments, etc. And it goes on and on. And if you will glance at my shop periodically, you will be seeing what's new at Carol Martine Art. I do hope that you will uh, enjoy my new Etsy shop. And if you have enjoyed this, watching this video, giving you a little bit of a preview of my learner listings, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, and I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. I will be seeing you again very soon, at which time I'm going to be getting back to my art, because although this is fun, I'm feeling the urge to hit one of my journals again. Bye now.